but Gambison's holding off Yolke, and Gambison won it by three quarters to Yolke on the line. Yeah, really good result, Gamby Sun. Um, not sure where we'll go with that horse. He, uh, geez, he did nothing wrong there the other day. He jumped and showed the tough speed. Like he got put under pressure for the first six or seven hundred, and then was good and nice and tough to the line. Uh, second horse might be okay too. They come to the race with a big wrap on it, and they sort of cleared right out in the third or so. Both those horses, first and second, might be okay. Um, since brought him home from the races and give him a nice gallop this morning, and he worked up good. So uh, yeah, I don't know. He might be this nice sort of lowly graded horse that can go through the grades pretty quickly so nice horse well done Brian O'Dwyer um there's another one he's bought um there you go people if you want to um, own race horses do what Brian's doing go and buy high quality um second hand horses that have shown a bit of ability as a young horse and just had a had an ordinary prep and people flogging them off so uh that all's come from James Cummings and uh looks like we're going to be able to go through our grades with him as sort of a, a daily reject which is great um, Righto, now uh, what else happened? A uh, couple of horses, our last two starters got beaten a short half head. Uh, Aloof got just nailed right on the line, he put his head out and I almost thought he might have lobbed on the line, but he'd, uh, he's sort of going pretty good, Aloof, he just needs to win a race. Um, and um, uh, Miss Matilda, uh, gee, she looked home for all money and just got nailed. Uh, I was a bit disappointed on the day that she got beaten, that filly, but um, when I watched the replay a couple of times, oh, the, the horse that beat her just went good. It, uh, it went better than her, simple as that. She, uh, she was good, nice and tough, and uh, she just got beaten by a horse that's better on the day. So both those horses are knocking on the door and certainly horses to follow. Right, now runners this week. Um, uh, I've got um, um, Min Yinga in at Mooney Valley Friday night. Now, uh, uh, down in the weights, drawn a good barrier. In fact, she's right down in the weights with the, using the claim. Um, she gets in fantastic and drawn a good gate. If she can jump and posse up second, third, fourth, uh, she's going to take a power of beating at Mooney Valley. Um, she's going really good and her work through the week was outstanding. So she's ready to go. The only query with her is uh, it's going to be 40 degrees and I'm not a big fan of uh, racing fillies on boiling hot days. So uh, I'll just have to see how she is on the day. If she's a bit upset and a bit hot I'll scratch her and won't run her I'll probably take her to uh, sand down Monday but at the, as we sit here right now she'll go to Mooney Valley Friday night Okay, now the weekend, I'm a bit all over the shot on the weekend because we've just got horses that are you know, getting needing runs here and there. Um, I've got a horse called Pantera Nera, um, dying to get to the races. He's going extremely well and he just needs to get to the races and get out of this ballot situation. I've got him in at Yarra Glen on Saturday and I've also got him in at Great Western on Sunday. So he'll go to one of those race meetings. I'll just pick which race is uh, the more chance of him, uh, him uh, finishing in the top four because he needs to get out of the ballot. Um, but the horse, if we take him, to, I'll, I'll take him to the race that I think can, um, he's more, more likely to win. So he's all ready to go, but um, it'll either be Yarra Glen on Saturday or Great Western Sunday. Um, then uh, at Hanging Rock on Saturday, now I've, um, I've got a horse called Secretan. Um, I'm just gonna get a blood count taken from him tomorrow and uh, see how he is. Uh, actually, I'll get a blood count taken from him today and, um, and see how he is. And uh, if his blood's okay, I'll take him. Now he's gonna be his first up run for me. Um, he seems to be going okay. He's an older horse on a, on a bit of a recovery. Um, he seems to be going okay, um, but uh, his work was great through the week, so uh, I, I don't think I can do much more on the training track. If all checks out with him, we might take him to Hanging Rock on Saturday. And I've also got my old horse, Severn Road. He's just desperate to have another run. Um, I want to go third up over probably 1,900 or 2,000 metres with him, so I need to get him back to the races and give him another run. So he'll either go, he'll probably be a bit like, a bit like uh, um, uh, Pantera Nera, is he'll either go to um, uh, Hanging Rock on Saturday or he'll go to Great Western on Sunday. Now Sunday, we've got, uh, we'll head off to Great Western, really outstanding race meeting Great Western. Um, lots of people, lots of, uh, lots of bookies and uh, you know, have a bit of a punt up there, it's really good. Um, now Great Western, now as I said before, I've got Pantera Nera up there, he'll either go to Yarra Glen or go there. Uh, young Juro goes first up, um, 1200 metres, he'll bounce and sit right on the bunny, probably uh, he's got good speed that horse and uh, just needs to get the sort of the drop on the leaders, want to teach this horse to sort of be running second and third rather than leading and weakening. He seems pretty good. 1200 might be a tad bit short for him but the horse is going pretty good so I expect him to go pretty well. Got old Severn Road in there um, and uh, he'll go to uh, either um, uh, Hanging Rock or go to Great Western and I've got another filly called Elon Rose Way. Um, uh, she's very low in the ballot and probably because they only run eight horses at Great Western she probably won't get a run so I'll probably have to look somewhere else for her. 
Now, Monday at Sandown, um, I've got uh, Mininga in there. Now, I'm only going to run her there as a backup for Mooney Valley Friday night. If I think uh, Friday's too hot for her and, and she's a little bit upset, I'll pull the pin from Friday night and I'll take her there. It's jumping up to 78 grade, but it is with fillies and mares grade. Um, but uh, my first preference will be certainly Mooney Valley Friday night with her. Um, but uh, she's going great and uh, I just want to get her to some city class races as quick as we can. And uh, so, yeah, as I said, she'll, uh, she, she'll only run on Monday if I don't run a Friday. G'day guys, uh, welcome to Around the Stables. Uh, this week we are going to show you a filly that uh, if you attend the Pink Angels race day on uh, Sunday at Geelong, uh, that you're a chance to win a, uh, an opportunity to race a uh, really a premium race horse. She um, father was a uh, he was a Group One winner. He won the Caulfield Guineas, and uh, her mum uh, Soren Tessa. She was a City Grade mare. So as you can probably see, she's uh, she's a beautiful type of filly. She's uh, she's done all that education. She's uh, been down to the Breakers. She's been down to Warnable. She's uh, really well educated, and she's come back to the farm. And uh, yeah, she'll uh, she'll have a, a, a prep here and probably have a little break and she'll come back next time in and be ready to race. Uh, she's a beautiful type. Uh, I imagine she'll run as a two-year-old. She's a really going forward filly and obviously if you attend the Pink Angels race day then you could be uh, in the winner's store with this filly here. Hi well, guys, uh, first week back at the track uh, from holiday was a successful one. Uh, we went to Ararat on Friday and found a winner with Elmore Ladd uh, for Kim Hahn. It sat outside the leader, took clear at the top of the straight and actually won pretty well. So um, looking forward to sticking with him. He'll probably uh, find a stronger race for him next time, but um, I'm sure he'll be pretty competitive again. Uh, for the week ahead, uh, at the moment, we just got the three at Sunday, uh, at Geelong Sunday. Um, a few nice rides there. Uh, there's also uh, some official trials at Geelong on Tuesday that we should hopefully pick up a few trial rides there, but that's all so far for the week ahead. Um, hopefully we can pick up a few more rides during the week and hopefully we've got another winner to talk about next week. Yeah, now I'm really excited this week. I'm, uh, I'm heading over to New Zealand this weekend and uh, going to have a look at uh, trying to buy a nice Derby Calder and Oaks filly. Um, it's very difficult to purchase these sort of horses here in Australia and uh, there uh, looks to be a really good catalogue for the uh, Caracas sale this year. So I'm heading over there on Sunday or Monday and uh, we've probably got about 15 horses we're going to target. Um, they're not overly expensive compared to what you're going to pay for them here. So um, we're just going to really target that sort of classic derby sort of uh, cult or that uh, Oaks type of filly. So if you're interested in perhaps coming on board with us, um, uh, send us, uh, you know, just send us a contact or an expression of interest and uh, when we get home, we'll sort of let you know, um, we'll forward on the information of the horses we've purchased. But as I said, we're probably gonna purchase one, maybe two horses, and uh, they won't be overly expensive, um, but they're the right sort of horse that uh, we'll bring over here and we'll absolutely target for, um, as a three-year-old, they're, um, they're uh, either a Derby or a uh, or Max. That's it for another week at Emsley Lodge. Thanks for watching. Um, really keen this weekend. Got a couple of really nice horses running this weekend. So hopefully uh, next week we'll have a couple of winners. Um, really excited about Sunday, Pink Angels race day. Um, as you know, we get fairly heavily, heavily involved with the day and uh, really excited. Well done to Wendy Boddington. You, some of the prizes um, this, this week uh, are quite outstanding. So um, if you re really want to come along, uh, by all means, you contact Janet or Wendy and um, uh, I'm sure we can find a couple of seats there for some people, but um, uh, don't forget to get a chance to win a uh, to get a chance to race a horse with us. Um, uh, it's absolute free of cost for a year, uh, and we've even called the Philly Pink Angel. And uh, we're also going to do donate a little bit of her prize money to the um, to the Pink Angels race day next year. So um, uh, if you want to get along, by all means, get uh, speak to Janet or Wendy, and um, and come along. It's a it's a beauty. I can't believe the prizes they've got this year. It's um, outstanding. So um, good on them. Well done, and I'm sure it'll be a good day. Till next week. See you later. This week uh, we're going to have a look at a... Uh, First week back was good, found a winner. Futura, Elmore Lad. Yeah, that'll do. Hi guys, uh, good week on the track. Um, first one, first start again. <laughs>